time. Four, three, two, one, and go. It's me, Mario. So, hello everyone. And welcome to this run of Stardust 7.5 Kidaos' return in the category of 131 star. On the new version, version 1.1. Oh. So. I'm going for that strat. Alright, I didn't mess it up. Game is still a bit low. Oh god. Okay. I've slightly highened it highened up a little bit, but I don't want to be, it to be too loud. So the difference between this version and 1.0 is that there is now a parallel cam, uh, which also includes most modern functions such as D-pad cam, D-pad up, align, D-pad down, align, and so on. Uh, but he also removed BLJs and added an extra star. Yeah, I, for I forgot to specify it, but... Okay, so the audio is perfect. Here we go. Usually the first split, the first level, is only about resets, but now that I'm not allowed to reset, for some safe strats, I can see. Yeah. Which is not going for the wall kick for tree. Perhaps because I didn't... Skip columns entirely, I guess. Yeah, I'm and going later, to... Later, once you have wall kick bad. Uh, no, I'm going for columns. Oh, okay, yeah. Be you don't really lose that much time for missing the wall kick with that one. Yeah, I didn't really route this version because without the BLJ, a lot of things are going to change, so I don't really know what this route's going to be. <laughs> but you'll recognize... Oh, you're not going to go for the skip there. No, because... I've... Uh, I've routed almost everything by myself, so... The oh, even are... like all the strats? Uh, Yeah, and unlike you, Void, I'm someone who plays safe. Oops. And even by doing it safe, I still commit. I still committing dumb mistakes. So. Well, I mean, dumb mistakes are gonna happen all the time, regardless if you're trying to be safe or not, right? So. This is the first time I'm hearing someone saying that Burning Lava Swamp is one of the prettiest lava horses. Yeah, that is Void. I 
still haven't got lava. Usually that's the first star you would collect. I usually save it for last, because it's like the easiest one. That way I can get all the resets out of the way with the other stars. <laughs> Not that that really matters for this situation. Ah yeah, I'm waiting for the second for the second cycle, but usually you do in one if you're not, you know, dumbfounded like me. Don't you agree, Void? Yeah, I also would have done the you know the skip that you used for Star Two or whichever one it was you got like first. Where you do two lava bounces right at the beginning to get like up top, then you could go backwards to get to the switch a little bit faster. Oh yeah, that would also be useful for the next star. Obviously. Woke up. Oh, CB just woke up. The third lad of Starvin 7.5. Moplup also ran this once upon a time. He, yeah, he ran 130. And of course, no one's really run this on 1.1 except for you, everyone else. Back. Yeah, absolutely, and we kind of don't want to have to deal with the fact that we can't BLJ. Kind of ruins a lot of things, like not having green switch. Yeah, I'm just doing another route. So, oh, I got a first try this time. slower than 1.0, which is why no one runs it really. Because mm. you gotta get an extra star, you can't do BLJs, and you don't even save time because of 80 coins instead of 100 coins, because there never were 100 coins. Yeah, I think that the only time you save in 1.1 is, could be, some checkpoints that have been added in course 11, and that was a three. I didn't know about those. Also, red coins probably you only need six out of eight, which might save a small bit of time. If yes. Like overworld. As well as the overworlds, yes. So. That could save some time, but. I have no idea, to be honest. Probably not enough to make up for everything else. Maybe. Who knows? Alright, now time for the DK. Not the best camera to do this. Oops. Wrong way. And quicksand. I'll probably just just 
should stay focused on this camera for the whole course. To relax. This ain't about competition. So let's do it. Yes. And I thought Void, uh, and I thought, not Void, but Void removed the invisible walls. Yeah, maybe those aren't from ceilings. I mean, invisible wall patch doesn't actually fix out of bounds. Well, I don't think this is out of bounds. Well, the only other possibility is that it's a ceiling, and do you think there are any ceilings around that area? I doesn't look like it. Yeah, this this isn't a ceiling at all. And most likely, given the time this was made, this wall patch probably was applied. Of course it can't fix everything, it can't fix if you just forget to put the floor over some board or under more accurate. Good. Here we go. <laughs> no, relax your life isn't going to be played for now. But that was a good try. I don't know, is username going to submit it next time or something? Probably. Or does he even run that? Or is it like only cost to run that? Okay, so this one I can go onto this cam. Alright, time to go to course 4 now. That's only if you do the light chuck your route. Here we go. Did I just mess up that star? Pretty badly. That never happened to me!
good. Um, okay... Just soft ledge grabbing, okay, thank you. And now I'll go for the, for the fourth star in Spook, Spooky Dark Castle, because I need it in my route. Because actually I have to get 33. And to get 33, I'm kind of forced to do that one now. Usually you would save it for the second for the second part of the run. Wait, but like you can just backflip into Flying Factory Fortress. Backflip? Well, uh, I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't expect being able to click through the 33 star door is patched in 1.1, but Yeah. It but, not, you know, I still can clip through it, but that's for after um, Flying Factory Fortress. Oh, you want to go back through it the other way? Yes, because I'll do over two, overall two red just after. Otherwise, I cannot get 40 from... 40 for, um, for that door in overall 3. Ah, to get to I just put on two, yeah. That way I can avoid four for four, uh, four firsties in a row. Good Ooh, lord! There are some easy ball kicks from there up to uh, you know, the rest of the place here. Maybe, maybe the lack of, you know, having strats is one of the reasons I quit three hours <laughs> at first in instance. So, oops. Oh yeah, my way might be real nice if it's only six out of eight. Where you use the warp from the star inside the bubble to like as part of your red Uh yeah. I think I'll Oh what? Oh. Unless that was moved in this version. Okay. I'm going for the fight. Even though I know there is a way to skip the fight with um, on, on clip, isn't it? Right. Yeah, you can click through the keyboard for that. Oh, okay. That was a way to screw up. of ants is just absurd. <laughs> Why 
why are there so many ants in that fight? Yes! That's the number of ants I want. I just have to save and quit. Oh, so it doesn't change where that warp to do, okay. Not at all. You probably also made the boss fights easier. Well, I don't know, well, the big thing uh, there wasn't hard to be maybe Ligler or something. Why did I save and quit now? I've just remembered that oh god. First brain farts of the first brain farts. I forgot that I needed one special star, and oh, for that, red? yeah, over one red. But, yeah, I guess it might be better to just die in. Uh, yes. In uh, you know yeah. what? I'm just gonna start with those reds. I'll go back on oh, two. Yeah. Now you'll have 25. Well, you can get 25 minutes anyway. So. Yeah, so. It is not a matter so you of. You want to collect that star before you do MIPS so that. Yes! You, uh, Absolutely. And the pink switch room, you can just reset to get out. Okay, now this looks like more, than, more a train wreck than a run, but. Yes. Now time for the MIPS, and this time let's not mess this up. I really hate those invisible walls. Because I thought Brodude had removed them, but... Whatever. Yep. The next clip. Time for the RNG to intervene with the run. <laughs> Okay, so first fail. Um, I really, really hate that. Shit. Oh. Perfect. So now time to activate both switches. And thankfully we have nips because the other door the other door requires 55 stars, so that way we can skip this and activate the second switch. Uh, 
Wait, I need to... Then you need to reset because you're stuck in the road. Yep. Well, I guess with stream delay, my commentary is going to be a bit awkward. Hmm. Remember that I've done that with Starbench 8 and Isometus run. So, not a big deal. This trap needs to be done once again for another, the other star. Stars. One of them would normally require to get around and buy some obscure strat. Well, no, by the intended way, go to collect the star waterfall, which is star 4, if I don't say anything wrong. But let's do it another way. has a secret inside of it, so to get the star spawned by that secret, you need to get them. Okay, 31. Now time to go to Flying Factory Fortress. Oh, so you get both stars in one go. Yes. Okay, so you do the light chocolate thing. Yeah. Absolutely. But first I need the reds. Keeping the one that you can see for one or two seconds. You no, know, the one close to the door, which unlocks 
the wall page and I'll skip another one we'll soon see which one so this one I'm doing it By the way, I'm thankful to the one who changed the music because this one I think is better than the other one. Alright, so that's right done. Now doing the... Why so... why is it that fight? <laughs> I don't know which name I should give it. Oh! I have good RNG this time. Oh yeah, I think there used to be fire spitters on some of those platforms. <laughs> I'm the other way, obviously. Oh, so for you, CB, the other one was better. Maybe I've said that this one was better because of, you know, the lack of one single note to ruin, ruin everything. There is also a strat to skip what I'm doing, but never never got it in reality, so I didn't bother doing doing that. Okay, so now we'll now we will have the greatest track found by CB. Uh, was it by CB or by you, Void? The Bowser Two. I would have thought Jarp, but all I know it wasn't is it wasn't me. Was it Jarp? Oh, maybe. I mean, Jarp is what I would expect. Yes. It might have been CB. I don't know. Let's bring it over there. Oh, it was dark. Okay. Yeah. He's the only one who could. Cat's nose. Yes. By the way, this is the first light tracking clip I'm doing. Yeah. Um, well, that that was the first because I never could get the one in Treasure Wall, so. Well, this light check is pretty free because you just use the bouncer instead of Abby actually having to do it. Yeah. Now, no one wants to die there because another way you would have to restart everything from scratch. 
well, at least from the checkpoint. can't interrupt star animations, only note blocks and bounce are good things. Mm. Unless I'm thinking of a different thing when I hear foot panel. Yeah, that's the bouncer, not the uh, spot. If you land on one of those, then it fails the cutscene, which happened to me. Okay, so that's thirty-three. The only relevant badge that's left is uh, uh, the Ultra Stomp. Hmm. Oh, and 6 out of 8 allows you to skip the one that's behind the blue block because you can't break that in your current state. But... Missed. So again, six rates for that star. Yeah, these overworld red routes are so much better than in 1.0. Just because, like, you usually would have to go all the way into that other room for one of the red. Yeah. And you don't need to now. What the auto looks what should we have to say? Uh. Yes! All the BLJs have been hatched. Oh. Yeah, BLJ was removed in this update. Oh. Which means also no early green switch. With... Well... Well, it's relatively early because you can get it at 40 stars now instead of 50. I mean, before we get it at like 22 or something. <laughs> Okay, so now we're on to Rainbow Road. And skipping two reds here when there are 100. Yeah, that's why I have triple jumps, but... I don't think this would matter. It makes it easier to get up to the Snez Rainbow Road. Because then you don't need to stand on the little railing, so you have a lot more room to uh, build up speed to walk use a triple jump instead of a side flip. That is true. Okay, so I think I'll skip this one. Oh. To be honest, only one red here needs to vanish. Uh, oh, the camera turned... Uh. I've tried in reverse! That's how I... I got away of the red to skip. Oh. 
Okay. Good. Now we're done with that. Let's get onto Hollow Mountain. So we are doing this in two times. The first one being collecting five stars right here, right now. And the second one will be after Magical Storm Canyon, which I do slightly later. Uh, why do I activate this one? I'm too used to that. I don't need that. But what I need is to open the cannon. So now we're doing star 7 first, uh, well not first but second. Also, this level is a huge puzzle if you if you do not know the game. Some of you could spend 30 minutes just on the star because I don't know. Why did Brody put a puzzle inside a platformer game? Well it's not really a puzzle that much, it's just like you have to press a certain switch and then that opens up one path that can allow you to press another switch which opens up a different path. And yeah, then, but like the secret, which then spawns a star, but then you have to press another switch to get to it. Or something. Yeah, but it's just that's really how long. you gotta press a bunch of switches. Yeah. That's how I saw it. That's how well I felt that I I felt that I was doing a puzzle instead of the, instead of a platform game. So. Maybe someone else can relate to either Void or my opinion. The over-the-top strat? Oh, I see what you're talking about. Is that something with a note block glitch? Yeah, to be really honest, going over the top Oh! Oh, that strat! Yeah! I'm just doing an alternate one, but 
Yeah, I think <laughs> the captain was the best solo track for 61. Um, I prefer the. There is another one on. No, was it another rearrangement of this theme? Uh, no. Ah! Second brain, brain part. Couldn't remember. <sighs> oh, why is that blue steer still here? Now go back. Now go down. Oh. What was that lag? Oh. I missed. Okay, now I'm safe. For now. Time to do another course. Which is black and white. And as the title says, this is a black and white level. Yeah, but it's also called Harbor, and that's hard to read. Yeah, as well. So, is it that path? No. I can believe it, but I know that won't be my case. Thank you, Goomba. Yeah, that's right, a two six, uh, high to 16. And you're still the world record holder, so... Until Void gets your hands, gets his hands on you, you'll be fine.
Yeah, I don't know, this game is not very high on my priority list right now. <laughs> yeah, al almost no one runs this. I'm very thankful that saved me. Otherwise, I've, I've gone for a trip to hell. Oh. Oh. Did I simply miss the ledge? Okay, I think I can save it. I just need to climb back up. Well, I think I can. S oh, no. Ah, oh, ay, ay, ay. Okay, so let's try the conventional way to get that star. No. Since this is all black and white, it's very hard to see where we are bouncing off. And for the last time... Nope. Still not enough speed to reach the ledge. Alright, 
I think we almost are at one hour, I think. Can someone agree or disagree? I'm not. Oh, anyway, you you need it, so only fifty six twenty. I'm surprised. Now we get the Ultra Badge. Here we go. What is the difference with that one? Maybe the the other level is just an upside down version of the daytime Icy Temple of Time 2. So now going for Another strat. So, I hope I can get this one right. Yes. And let's do that. And here I got it. Normally you would just go all the way around just to collect that star. Wow, I've never seen that strat before, that's really good actually. I thought you would have figured it out. Okay, so now you'll soon be able to see the checkpoints. Oh, and I missed the oh, star. Wow, that can be used for like three stars. <laughs> That's like a good minute of time save right there. Come on. Probably more than one minute. Okay, so is it that side? No. Other side? So, let's see if I can get this one right on the second try. Obviously. <laughs> Other side. Now we'll get star 6. Which is obviously faster with that strat. Here we go. And now we're going for star 7 in the day world. Okay, 
itself. Two, three. And then we have our final star. Even though I think starting from the beginning would have been uh, more useful than starting from there. Oh. Anyway. Okay, so I'm aligned. That gets 55. And now we are good to go for all three reds and the toad. And for that, I'll just wall kick through that pillar. I think at that point, I can pretty much die and get the overall 3 reds from the original 50, 50 star door. So if I get those ones, then I can skip one. I never was comfortable on 1.0 with that star because the shrinking blocks would not respond. But on this one, this gives absolutely no problem. Um, okay. So now time for Void of the Limbow with a password which is given in Star Event 7 you know, with those pictures that you have seen on Castle Wakati and the password is DBDKDK the initials of Every single boss, from Star Wars 1 to Star Wars 6. And now that we've activated the green switch, we can just fall off. Now to get this one right. Uh, nope. Not the good one. Now we're good to Magical Stone Canyon and
doing all the stones at once. Switches is a tedious, well, not a tedious star, but the boobas can easily eat you. Last last time I practiced this star, I got it in twice. So let's hope I don't get eaten one single time. So, where is... Oh! I see it went smoothly this time. Another invisible wall that has not been removed. Did not even did even apply. Oh, God, Marin! No one keeps keep near the gate. I don't think it is faster. I may be wrong, but. Yes, that's exactly like that. Thank you, Lord. So, as I said, normally you would wait to activate the second switch but we can be fast enough to do this in only one switch. Ah! Got night. My bad. <laughs> You know, there's there's an expression which says third times the charm. Let's see if I can get this one right. I agree. There are two lucky twos. 
and for your safety, destroy them. So, where is the end this time? Good. The guy commits plunder to the and so does the plunder. We're doing star 7 now? How hard is it to get good? Hmm, I don't... I don't think it would be hard. Usually you would improve by Practicing. That's the only thing I would say. Here we go. And for speedrunning games, you need to speedrun a game you like. Yep, only need 6 reds, but I'm doing them last. Here we go. On top of 14 characters. Yes, because there are 8 of them. You can be thankful, Zoom. Did his job. And I have to admit it, I suck at novel, so. I need this one to continue. Is it to play or is it to speedrun? Because those are two different things. I know they say Toho, just easy to play, then I can recommend you Super Mario 64 Sapphire. Star Range 5 as well. Ah, oh, this troll is... this tallish star. <laughs> I think there are 25 in the same room, and... You need to look at the stars to only see one of them. 
things slightly tilted. Uh, no, not slightly tilted, but slightly off in the rotation. But once you've memorized the, the place, it's quite easy to remember. Okay, so I don't like this movie at all. Back into this to only into the escape this cave again. The rest should be given. Good. And now we're good to go. <sighs> so now we save and quit. To save, I don't know, maybe 12 seconds. Back into a world 2. So let's start with star 7, which is hidden back there. And star 6 will be on the other box, which is a little further. And for this one, you need the Ultra Beige. Um, okay, so... Also, you will hear this music in another hack. You know, Kingo's Revenge. So I'm good to go. To this course. First of all, let's collect the two stars in the Enchanting Stars 2 as well. That is true. But I don't think we have Shining Stars 2 on Winter Speed and on this Winter Speed and Marathon. Am I wrong? So I need to be fast.
but not too fast. So that we can actually collect this star. By the way, 69. Uh, I don't know. Is Void okay with that? Oh! New strat! Use the first T. Yeah, 69 would be a better choice to do on 120. Are you kidding me, CD? You're trying to pull off French words. <laughs> okay. one first before doing vines. One, two, three. And we're good to go. There's also another strap for this star, but this is on a steep slope. And everyone knows that I hate steep slopes. Anything. I think I'll just do vines uh, if I can see. So a little piece of trivia. Yeah, there is a way. They're telling me to do this. Uh, 
Ah, no. I need... Come on. Ouch. And I can't get low kick properly. Yeah, in case we have no idea, just rely on the RNG to do its job. Here we go. Now we're good to go. Phew. worst level and all no this the worst level is mm, course 15 Also, I can ensure you that the stars in the pyramid, such as this one, and in particular this, those two stars on the left side of the pyramid, they will now show up in my weekly So I forgot to say my piece of trivia, to say that... Did you know that there are actually 5,000 ways to complete a level? Thank you, Invisible Wall. More than 5,000 ways to finish one single level. And that's another one. So now I'm breaking the order.
Okay, thank you. Thank you for the ride. Just so I don't get screwed up by... No, I didn't get screwed up. My perspective. We'll soon get at 80, the number of stars that you need to finish the game. Because you get 2 in the final level. Hence the category 82. You can see why this course is boring, because you do the same thing and again and again and again. Same beginning and the end of the stars are not that impressive for the most for most of them. If we finish in advance, like 20 or 30 minutes ahead, which won't happen of course. Shall I give you a French lesson? Oh. And of course I... why did I get to the pyramids? That's a cannon. A thing called ring. I only know two things that are called ring. This star and... And... One thing in mathematics. Roy knows about that. Yes, of course, that kind of ring. <laughs> I knew I would pull off something with you if I talked about the rings. Let's not. Yeah, I guess it's kind of hard to colloquially explain what a ring is if. Uh, except by just like putting the definition. That's like the boss. Here we go. 
I mean, it's not hard to come up with an example of one. Yes. With the example of Z, with the regular plus and, and the regular multiplication. But I don't think we are here to give a math a uh, lesson of mathematics to everyone here. <laughs> By the way, isn't isn't it something about 3 a.m. in in your country on your time uh, zone? Yeah, just about where I am. Yeah. I feel kind of bad for you because. You have to be awoken until Crash finishes his run of Twitter uh, Adventures. Well, theoretically, I could just leave before Crash finishes his run. I really just need to start it. I don't actually need to do anything once the run is started. Unless yeah. the stream goes down, at which point I'd have to refresh it, and then that would be a problem because I wouldn't be there. But, you know, let's just hope that doesn't. Or maybe Aglab can be awake by the time that happens. Like, we can deal with it. Yeah, let's see if Aglab can be, can be awoken at that time. Or wait, do you have host roll? What? <laughs> yeah, you do. You do. You, you have access to all the information needed. Yes. I have to actually host... be able to run the marathon if you need to. Yeah. But so, unfortunately. You know, if you're watching Crash's run and you see something go wrong and no one else is there, you could always fix it. Yeah, but unfortunately, I had something else to do after that run. Aha. Uh -huh. That's why I said that I would have problems hosting this marathon. But why not the next one in summer? Yeah, I mean, probably by the tons of people be able to do stuff. <laughs> but... So okay, okay, so I opened the cannon. For the Star of Doom, just after this one. By the way, the name Water, or the name of too much water, best star name ever. Tied with Star in Star in 6.5. Katsu can relate on that one. Yeah, that star just called Star. But this one is done. I guess that is sarcasm silent, right? Sarcasm, okay. Yeah, because it gives a small reference on, you know, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, the 7.8 out of 10. Because of too much water. Oh, 
Okay, so time to get the very long star. Uh, if I'm not wrong, it's first that way. Also, a good morning from France, big soul. So this tunnel is one of the longest, as you can see. But you need to get that one because this is 100%. Imagine being forced to do that star in 82 because you'd be one star short. Time to get another one. Ready on the stove. Also, I don't know if you ever asked that question to yourself, but why does Mario swim with all of his clothes? I mean, wouldn't they be soaking wet when Mario would go out of water and behavior? Why did we have to drain the water? Did, that, I said, did no one wonder about that? Would it be faster? Surely it would be. Oh! Thank you, Skullbug. 
110. Thank you. You're scaring me. Maybe 110 for the whole level, but 110 for only 4 stars? Uh, for 1 star? Let me go for 40 for 4 stars. Good. Now we are free to go. Here we go. And to save and quit for the end time. And now we are not forced to do the slope. We can just go um, that way. That's 90. Still not enough. Yeah, mainly, indeed. But you need 100 stars to get onto the last course, course 15. Not gonna reveal what Thank you, Invisible Wall. I didn't need you. Oh god, why? I was saying that for others, CD. I know you know that we need 100 to go to course 1. Oh, it was void? Impressive. The invisible wall again. I'm starting to think Road hasn't applied the invisible wall patch at all. You know that patch only fixes invisible walls that result from ceiling hitboxes, right? 
Oh, that explains a lot. I know I. Fix out of bounds invisible walls. Like that's not gonna work because then you could go out of bounds, which is not something that's. Oh well, maybe now we cannot. And who knows? Maybe in, in a few years, if not a few months, someone will have found a way to do so. Just given the way that SM64 is coded, there's just pretty much no way that you can get rid of it. Okay, so out of bounds behaving like it's supposed to behave. And the other Here we go. Okay, so that's ninety-four. I think we're done with this course. Now we can just skip all the way around to the slide. And for this course, just do everything in Mario Cam. You see that the round for red is now quite the same with the time star. That happens, see. Yep, 100%. Yeah, something I didn't say is that the time limit is 20 seconds. As long as it is under 20 seconds, it's fine. So, for the two hidden stars... We have one, and the second one... That's ninety nine. Surprisingly, yes, big soul.
Have we reached the two hours limit? One fifty six. Thank you, Pixel. One hundred now. One hundred starters. That's enough to get on to course fifteen. Good. Well, I didn't know about this. Oh, it's second frame. Okay. This something is right with the regular law of physics. Oh, and I did scrub that as well. I really hate those shrinking platforms. Yeah, I know about those. Because I think I ran into one. <laughs> Okay, so the alcohol is there, and we are free to go.
So that's star 7 and star 6 isn't that complicated, but you just need the voltage to get it. Is that excellent? I thought it would be tomorrow. Yes, this is after TA's run. And now for the most exciting part. We'll encounter someone. We'll which will bring us to... Uh, uh oh. This little thing was waiting for us. to that Illuminati. So we got left star, time to get right star. I hope it doesn't crash. Because it happened. Uh, okay. Just. Twenty one left. And now, for the star I hate in this level, which makes me hate this level, because there are two enemies, one single... Oh, I got it right. And now... I'm doing it that way. 
so that I don't bother with the invisible platform. So why is Code 15 running smoothly? Okay, this Lakitu is deadly. Just kill it with fire before it kills you with his fine. Now, we'll get the invisible box thereafter, because thanks to a star, we actually can have some gimmick related to the game itself that might help us getting slightly faster. Oh. for the gimmick. Well anyway I was doing it wrong so let's first get the race right because if I don't get it right at least I have a backup. Also, get the time.
that's 115. Intended. Because the star is up on there. Um. Let's just get another time. Say goodbye to that level. Because here comes the extra star that I discovered on my own. But I had gone through a totally different way than intended. To go back, I said go back and not die. in a rush. Well, I kinda am because I'm running against time. Three hundred? Thanks for the raid! <laughs> Raid. <laughs> oh, of course. Well, so for those who have just come from the raid, this is a run hack from Super Mario 64 called Stardust 7.5 to Damos' Return. And as you can see I'm almost finished with my run. Back into the real overwall. Hard? 
the run that comes just after this is harder. Now it's time for the big two. The big castle Wakati. I think Master's challenge in this session is the hardest. Yeah, I guess we can relate to the level of, you know, everyone. No, wrong way, again. Okay, so this is the maze. Um, I wonder what's for dinner. Everything is a star? Not exactly. It happens that the later, later levels have most of their enemies replaced by the star. To the beginning. Um, okay, so each time I do that, I'm quite lost because one, this path is small, and two, we are indoors. Uh, a chucky clip? Yes, there is. And I'm gonna do it. Uh, oh, you mean for that star? No, but for one of the stars in Castle Wakati, yes. This is not exactly the Mario 64 cameras. No, this is a special cam. For 
remember. Um. Remember the star I've just done, and I, I don't recall it having a chakra clip, or maybe I didn't see it. It's okay if you're new. We want all were new, right? So there's nothing to be ashamed of. Yep, a much better version. Answer your question. Right. There's no problem with that. To be pretty honest, you're pretty calm compared to some people in the community. Okay, so outside of the castle. Uh -oh. I think you could. You could start off with simple hacks, like Star Road or Green Stars, like those ones. And, you know, slowly getting better and do runs. to use 74 EE just up to 74 because 74 in itself is not an easy egg so
Um, okay. And that's the end of course 14. Now we can go to the final stage of the game. Oh god, please no. Not Knight of the EE. And not 74 EE before 74. Yeah, it's up to 10 a.m. over there as well. Oh, did I just mess up the... <laughs> what, is, what is this game? It's called DL. How's gaming? Well, I'm almost finished. And since you're, and since you're awoken up, maybe you could take Vault's place for hosting, so you can let him sleep. Oh, you're not home. I thought you were. Another burn down. Come on. I know I. Nope, no runners for Star Revenge 8.
Okay, for this one, so we'll sit on there. If you love puzzles, well, it's not really a puzzle, just you have to memorize. So. Good. Under. Good. No, it's not memorized indeed. It's just uh, it's just a pattern. Yes. Now time for red. Because in this version of Arden 7.5, there are two checkpoints. Nice kick, and now... Good. I'm not activating right now because I'll first collect some res. Let's see if I can get as possible. Usually you would also get blue switch as soon as possible so that you won't have to do a big turn so I think I'm one red short but that's okay uh, no I don't need this one It's kind of stressful. So now, there. That's been pretty smooth. It is pretty smooth. Yes. Only six threads are needed. Uh, okay. And I think you need to get back. Back in the line. Now I'm really afraid that Either I get stuck, or... Okay. So you won't burn me twice. And I'm just waiting... Good. Really? Thanks, CD. Um, okay, so I need to shift. Uh, so I go on this one and this one. And this one as well. Good. Good. Go. I just have to die in quicksand. Uh. Yeah. 
Good. Because now, a long fall awaits us. I have 129, and that's exactly what I need to finish this, because the 12 stars will provide access to 131. And now, time for Brodute. Oh, oh no, Brodute will catch me. And I don't want to be gag caught. Oh! This is a very Monka X moment. That's 130. Good. Oops, need to step down. Oh, don't crush me. Time for the final fight, which had been noted. And thanks that it had been noted. Otherwise I wouldn't have run this again if it wasn't for a noted fight. One done. I agree with you, CD. Good. Just approach it, oh, so I have a better angle to aim at. Yes! Get ready to time! And... Time! So, how long was it?
I'm pretty glad I finished the run under under three hours, but I wouldn't expect it to be quite short. In fact, I'm kind of surprised. It's 26 minutes away, so it's a 2.42. Okay, thanks, CD. Even though I'm nowhere close to the world record, that was a fun thing to do. And I see... Is Crash here? Because... Oh, Crash is here, so I think I'll just let Crash uh, take my seat and follow with Super Mario 64 Twisted Adventures 151 Star. And with that, I'm done. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I hope you all have a great day. Especially that I've done my thing at 7.30 a.m. I've done my run. Oh, I see crashes here.